Nail fungal infection is known as onychomycosis. It may affect any nail, but it typically involves the toenails. The most prevalent cause of this infection is wearing tight, non-breathable shoes, as a warm and wet environment is conducive to fungal growth. The infection usually starts as a white or yellow spot under the tip of the nail. It grows slowly within the nail. The fungus begins to spread on the nail plate, the hard part of the nail, leading to a change in color to yellow, brown, white, and sometimes greenish. In simple terms, the fungus grows within the hard part of the nail. It can also infect the nail bed, eventually causing the nail to separate from the nail bed. Dermatophytes are the most common culprits, though yeasts and molds can also cause nail infections. If left untreated, the infection can spread to the surrounding tissues, to other nails, and even to other people, especially in communal environments like pools and locker rooms. Age is a common risk factor for fungal infections due to decreased blood circulation, slower nail growth, and increased years of exposure to fungi. Sweaty feet and closed footwear also pose a risk as fungi thrive and multiply easily in wet environments. Walking barefoot in damp communal areas such as gyms, swimming pools, and shower rooms increases the risk of fungal infection. Athletes commonly suffer from this condition, sometimes referred to as athlete's foot, and a prior history of athlete's foot increases the risk of fungal nail infection. The first-line treatment includes topical creams like amorolfine, cyclopyrox, and afiniconazole. Although not highly effective, these creams are suitable for mild to moderate cases, with a cure rate of up to 50%. They are applied to the affected nail and sometimes the surrounding area to prevent the spread of the infection. The treatment duration can extend up to a year due to the slow growth rate of nails. Efiniconazole is a newer medication with high effectiveness. It reaches the nail plates and can access the site of infection. Amorolfine is also popular due to its effectiveness, it is a lacquer that is applied to the infected site. If the condition is more serious, oral antifungal medications are used, such as terbinafine and itraconazole, which are the most commonly used. These medications are taken for several weeks to a month, but should be used with caution due to potential side effects like liver toxicity. Oral antifungals have a higher effectiveness rate, especially terbinafine, with around 70 to 80% effectiveness. The most effective treatment is considered to be the combination of both methods mentioned above. If these methods are ineffective or contraindicated due to side effects, then laser treatment is an option. Laser therapy heats and destroys fungal cells, but multiple treatment sessions are required. The last resort for treatment, if all other methods fail, is the surgical removal of the nail. Natural remedies such as tea tree oil, vinegar soaks, or Vicks Vapor Rub have anecdotal support but lack strong scientific evidence.